had some work on his house, so he doesn't live very far from us, but this is the uh, road that we travel to get to his place, which is, he's about 15 minutes away, 10 to 15 minutes away from where we live. But you can see how beautiful it is now. This is the winter and not any leaves or anything are on the trees, but can you imagine when the, the summer comes, how nice it is. Um, with also, you know, the rivers and just the hillside is beautiful. Um, with Here's our summer home. It's, uh, and Mr. said that this is our summer home up there. Oh, uh, yeah, right. Woo! But, you know, just the ride over to his house, which he's renovating, um, is uh, really nice. He comes from a big, big city. You know, I always tell you we come from a big city. I guess it would be medium size, probably. Yeah, well, anyway, he came from a big, big city all the way across. He lived on the West Coast, and he moved out here. And he's used to, you know, city life and restaurants uh, everywhere. There's some cows over here. You don't see them. He's all bundled up and, because it's cold this morning. So, but the way his head is and his neck, you can hear him breathing going, shh, shh. Of course, it might be a lot. He needs to lose some weight. See, this is the road going to his house. Oh, sorry, guys. And this road is state maintained. Yeah, it's supposed to be state maintained. It's not wide enough. Where's the draining? Where's the, uh, where's the, everything they put on us? See there, I mean, better not be out when it snows, but you can just slide, look, a soft shoulder there can slide right off. That's why I told them, I said, when it's snowing and stuff, you better keep your butt parked at home. But anyway, there was something I was going, oh, usually when we come down this road, we always see wildlife. Now, this is Stu's place. He's got chickens up here. He had turkeys. He had some turkeys, but there's the chickens. And he's got a pond. It's a kitty cat. Well, I can't. Y'all didn't see that. Sorry. Here goes a cat. There he went. But, what was I saying? He's got a lot of cats there. I forgot what I was saying, guys. Oh, I know what I was saying. That usually when we come down this road, as always, you see a deer. A deer stand on along the side of the road, or it, you know, running across the road. Mostly every time. So far, we haven't seen anything but a cat run across the road. But yeah, this is uh, turkey and deer territory. 
you have turkey and deer. Sometimes with turkeys, you'll see a flock of them. One day we saw about, what, 20 some? About 20 some turkeys. They were the wild turkeys. But, uh, yeah, this is, are y'all enjoying this? I think, take called, a, huh? I think a turkey, turkey group is called a clutch. A clutch? I don't know, but maybe you guys know that live on some farmland. But, yeah, this is, uh, whoops, sorry. Are y'all getting seasick? I'm sorry. But, yeah, this is um, the way to his house. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get well, off here. Huh? going up the side of the mountain, aren't you? Why don't you take that? That's the exciting part. Well, I don't know if he knows this. So, anyhow, let me go ahead and get off of here because it's shaking so bad and we're getting ready to go into some more, a little bit more rugged places. And, anyhow, yeah, you see this? I want to show you just a little bit more. It's like only a one lane road. They've got some turnouts, like, oh my gosh. Ugh. Turnouts in some places, so um, you can get, oh man. I'm sorry guys, I'm trying to talk and hold the camera. Um, I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, turnouts, so people can get by. And, um, but yeah, this is how we travel. And this is uh, his, his driveway, which I'm not going to uh, video, but his driveway is about, well, it's not this long, but it's uh, it's a, I don't know, what is it, a quarter of a mile? About a quarter of a mile to get up to his house. And so, I know Mr. and I, we're needing a, um, oops, sorry guys, we're needing a, a four-wheel drive, all-wheel drive, for just living up here in the mountains. Remember, we came from the city, so we didn't have to have those kind of vehicles, but we do now. As you can see, all the twists and turns. This lady here, um, uh, She's got slow, please, because she has, um, she had, I think the coyotes have got them, um, a flock of guineas. Anyway, I'm not going to video her house. All right, uh, I'll see y'all in just a little bit. Well, here I am again. We made it back home. Actually, this is the next day. Um, I got down in my shop yesterday, and I mean, it was a disaster. You couldn't even walk in on my, on my, um, side of the uh the, the shed but anyway i have been working on some things and like i said i don't do this tutorial things but i kind of wanted to show you this morning we're going to go down to the booth and um so i i have made some things real simple things uh to go i uh, i've had my um valentine stuff already down there for a couple of weeks so I knew I needed to start working on some spring and Easter things. I still have a lot more that I want to do, but I had to clean up my shop. I didn't know where nothing was. And plus I got rid of a lot of things. Um, so we've got a couple of boxes to take to one of them places. And um, I've got some stuff that I found that are spring. There's a lot of ideas that I, I came up with when I started uh, going through and some things were kind of hidden in the back and I pulled them out. And so I've got a lot of things going on in my head that I want to do. But anyway, um, we're going to stop at the DG. I've got to get some plastic containers that I can see through because I've got to sort the flowers and I want to sort, you know, like the, well, I probably keep like the, <clears throat> well, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I, yeah, I've got flowers for different seasons and <clears throat> I don't want to have four containers for, Oh, winter, spring, summer, fall, um, I'll combine them. But the thing of it is, is that I can see through it and I can know what's there. I have a lot of flowers there. Some are not so good, so I'm going to be going through those and throw those away at all. But anyway, getting to it. I want to show you what I made. And uh, let me see if I can get y'all flipped around. Now, I'm on my phone, so I don't know how to flip. I know before I start how to flip it, but I don't know how to flip it when I'm on here. Let's see if I can do this. Well... It ain't doing so good. Um, 
I tell you what, I'm gonna turn it off for just a smidge and then I'm gonna come right back like that. So let's do it, ready? See how quick that was. Anyway, these are the things that uh, I have been making um, for for Easter. Uh, I gotta kind of brush them off. I get those little ex excess uh, material on it. But these are my my carrots that I made. Um, where are the rest of them? Okay, I think those are. You know, I put different buttons on them. Here's one's got the green. Um, well, let's see if you can see them. You know, the orange. And you go, well, Sheila, what good is a carrot? You ain't got no bunny. Well, contraire. Here it is. Look there. There's one little bunny. He's blue. Got the little blue ears. I painted um, little pink on um, her ears. And that's the little tail I put on her. And then I got a green one. Oh, you can see it got the pink, the blue, uh, the buff buffalo plaid, and the black and white. I got, I just got um, that for a tail on that one. Um, there's green, and I've got one. Now I know one of them. I made a little regular cotton tail. Where, where is he? Oh, there he is, with the regular little cotton tail. The little orange one. Seemed like I had another one that. Well. Well. Well, I thought I did anyway. But that's it. Then I've got the little fence um, that I'm going to be um, also putting down in my booth. And then I have some more spring things. Let's see if I can. Um, right there. I've got it on the TV tray. Because I'm going to clean that up really well, and I'm going to put something in that also for um, you know the spring and Easter. I thought that's kind of pretty, didn't you? Don't you? Okay, so that's the deal this morning. Mister's down in the shop doing something with one of his tools. He was out there yesterday as well. Oh, and we went to one of our neighbors' houses last night. They had invited us to come over and to have a meal with him, and. Um, she just went way out with, with the preparation of this meal. We had some, uh, well, I'm going to tell you first what the real big deal is. They had bear meat. I kid you not. It was bear meat. And then they had some deer. And then she has like some chicken strips. And then she had... Uh, she made homemade biscuits. I made a huge pan of homemade biscuits. I saw, told Mr. I said, well, what's she going to do with all the biscuits? He says, Bobby, freeze them. Which, yeah, that's what I do. But she had homemade biscuits, which were delish. I can't make homemade biscuits. I've tried. The first time I made them, my mom, I'll tell you, let me tell you a story. My mama made homemade biscuits all the time. And probably some of y'all go, Sheila, what's the problem? Look how old you are. You can't make homemade biscuits. No. My mom, she says, she called me by my middle name. My middle name is Diane. But she called me Dine. You know, the so southern thing. She goes, now, Dine, it is easy to make biscuits. I said, well, you're going to have to help me, Mom. And she goes, well, it was over the phone. And, you know, I'd seen her make it before. So I figured her just telling me, I mean, I could follow the instructions, right? So I made them. She told me what to put the oven on. I said, I can't even remember now. It's been so long. Is it 475 or something? I can't remember. But anyway, so I, I made them up like she told me, and I stuck them in the oven. And I turned the light on in the oven. Look at them. I go, they were like brown on top. And I go, woohoo, those biscuits look delish. I had to change arms. So those biscuits look delish. So I got them out, put them up on the top of the oven, and I got a little spatula so I could get up under them. Let me tell you what. Them biscuits are so hard that you could throw them, literally throw them, and knock a hole in the wall. I kid you not. So I go, well, can't eat these. You might break your teeth trying to bite them. 
So I called mom back. I said, I told her about it. She just laughed. She just thought it was funny. She says, Don, you didn't put enough lard in it. I said, well, I didn't know. I mean, you didn't tell me. You said, put, you know, put some lard in it. You got your flour and blah, blah, blah. And I did it. She said, well, you didn't put enough lard in it. So I thought, okay, I'm not going to let this defeat me. So that's what I'm going to do. So I made my biscuits again. I stuck them in the oven. And I waited just a little bit. And you know how you put the plop in there, you know, for your biscuits. And so I waited for just a little bit. And I turned on a light and I looked down there in the oven. And I go... Where's my biscuits? They done gone. What happened to my biscuits? Oh, I already know what I did, don't you? I put so much lard in it. This time they just melted. Melted in the pan. Just spread out in the pan. I told Ma, I said, I ain't never going to try to make another biscuit ever in my whole life. And guess what? I ain't done it. I go to the grocery store and get them in the in the roll, some grands. That's easy. Just pop that can open, take them biscuits out, throw them in the, in, in your little your cookie sheet, whatever. Put them in the oven. There you go. You got some biscuits. Why well, go through all that and get all that sticky stuff all over your hand that you can't hardly get off? You're trying to take one finger and scrape the other finger. Just try to get that old stuff off. It makes a big mess. And then you have to go over there and try to get all the the lard is sticky off of it, trying to wash it. It takes forever trying to get that stuff off your hands. Well, I eat canned biscuits. Mister likes them too, so that's what we do. What was I saying? It was the reason I had to tell you that story. Oh, our neighbors. And she made the biggest, fluffiest biscuits ever. I mean, they were so good, and they kind of put me to shame. You know, I'm thinking, man, I wish I could do them biscuits. But I ain't going to try. But I sure wish I could. So, then she had uh, some green beans, some potatoes, uh, cream potatoes, and some gravy. And then, well, of course, we had our drink. And then she had some kind of peach something, peach crispy something for uh, for dessert. And it was just good. We had, the fellowship was great. And sometimes you just need that. You need to get out and have fellowship and stuff. And so I was just really appreciative that them inviting us to come and to, to eat with them. Now, don't you remember? Now, those are the ones that came to our house to eat. You remember I almost caught the house on fire with that grease fire? And and then he was trying to get that stink bug off of Mr. He was going to throw him out the door. And his chair went backwards and he fell on the floor. That was so embarrassing. Had nothing like that happened when we were at their house. Thank you, Jesus. But anyway, I get off here. I just want to show you my bunnies. I do have a recipe, another recipe that, uh, you know what, forget, cut that. Because it's one of those you put in the crock box. I don't know why I can't remember to get up my butt up in the morning and go ahead. I'll probably have to do that video tomorrow so we can do this other uh, recipe. Well, there's two or three recipes I have for the crock pot, but you got to put them on in the morning because they got to slow cook. You gotta cook. Of course, you can do the five hour thing. I like mine slow cooking. I like to cook it all day. But anyway, I did have, let me put it that way. So anyway, tomorrow morning, which will be Tuesday, it's Monday now, that uh, I'm going to share with you another recipe that I got, and I've never tried it before in the crock pot, and to see how that goes. Now, I will tell you this, no, no, I can share, I got the other one that I did with a Salisbury steak. Yeah, with a Salisbury steak, now that was good. And I can share that with you. I'll have that on this video. And then tomorrow, I'll go ahead and see if I can remember. I'm probably going to have to put me a little notes on my phone. Go, don't forget to start your crock pot, Bill. Well, so I'm going to try. So, but I do have this other one that I want to share with you. And actually, 
it was really, really good. And it was Salisbury steak, but um, it was made with uh, with hamburger, uh, which was, it was, Mr. liked it and I liked it. Now that first one I did with that chicken casserole dish, <clears throat> Mr. liked it. I said, it needs some peas or some. I like peas. I mean, it just needs something else. Some onions, some cheese. Now, it did have onions at the bottom of the pot. No, that was this one I'm getting ready to show you. I'm getting them mixed up. I would just tell you, that one I showed y'all, y'all might like it. Mr. really enjoyed it. I wouldn't give you two cents for it. So, but this other one, I like it, and I want to share it with you, which I will have in this video. Praise the Lord, glory to God, hallelujah, Jesus. So, let me get off here. I've got to make my tags wherever they are. Yeah, right. Mm, right here they are. I got to make my tags and put everything on them so I can take them down uh, to our booth today. And we just got a few errands that we got to do. Man, let me say this before I get off here. Y'all heard about that big pop in there, didn't you? Yes, sir. You know, you got to be careful what you say. I'll just tell you a big pop in the air. Y'all know what I'm talking about. That is really, and I'm sure it has you too, it has really, really concerned me that the leadership would allow something like that to happen. And don't give me about a few days later than you, you told them this or that. When you knew it, There's supposed to be two more. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I'm saying that because I'm very, very concerned. As well as you. But I don't know. Maybe some of you want to consider, possibly, is going out and maybe getting you a few cans of this, a few cans of that. Maybe just kind of I say put them back for a rainy day. Maybe give us some serious thought about that. That's what we're gonna to do today. Then I gotta put my Walmart order in and I will be doing it on my Walmart order. And maybe get you, think about your animals. Go on ahead and get them some few bags of, whether you have cats or dogs or Oh, whatever you have. You know, maybe have some farm animals. Um, I don't know. It's just kind of scary right now. And we just don't know with this leadership. Well, let me put this way. We ain't got no leadership. Some of y'all going to get mad. Well, I don't care. We ain't got no leadership. And ain't said that in our word. I'm going to shut up on that. I'm just saying all this, so maybe y'all want to give some thought about going, maybe get you some rice, some beans, dried beans, some, um, you know, maybe stock up your freezer just a little bit, or get you some canned goods. Um, and I'm going to leave this part of this video at that. I think y'all can read between the lines and understand what I'm saying. You know, I'm going to start looking at them tags, too, and see where they're made at. Might want that. I ain't going to support something that don't like us. Why would I support something? No. Ain't going to happen. Not from henceforth. Might take me a little bit more trouble to find something else that's made here, but I'm not supporting that. Mm-mm, mm-mm. They don't give one iota for us. You know it. I know it. Okay. <laughs> Shut up, because I get on this subject. A friend might say something I shouldn't be saying. But I just kind of want to say this to you, because I'm serious about what I just said. I'm very, very serious. It's nothing to, I'm not trying to scare anybody. Don't Please don't misunderstand that. But this is important. Real important. Because Sheila say it's important. You got to know it's important. 
All right. Well, let me get off here and uh, let's try to think. Yeah, I got to label these things real quick. Mister's going to be going, you ain't ready yet. I know I was in there flapping my jaws. But, okay, let me do this, and I'll be back with the recipe. I'm telling you, guys, I hope y'all like it. I really did like it. I liked it a lot. All right, I'll see y'all in just a little while. Hey, guys, what's up, y'all? This is Sheila with What's Up, Y'all, in the hills of Virginia. You know, I've been trying to get new recipes and stuff. So today I'm trying another one. I won't tell you about that one yesterday. Mr. liked it. It was, it was that it was that chicken casserole. And uh and I got that video on it and I'll put the link below. Y'all might like it. I couldn't stand it. I they, told JFG Mayonnaise made the casserole. It was wonderful. No, no. Anyway, I couldn't stand it. And of course, I had to swap out my days because I made a menu. And um, anyway, yesterday was supposed to have been what I'm fixing today, vice versa. Anyway, I just want to let you know about that other. Y'all might y'all might like it, but I told Mister, I said I'd rather get I put uh, like crouton things on the top, the uh, pepper pepperidge farm. Anyway, I want to get to this, but I said I would change it up. I'd probably put like crescent roll, you know, lay that on the top, and I'd add some peas. It probably be more like a pot pie, but I just didn't. I just didn't like it. It, it would, I told him I said it wouldn't be anything I would fix. But y'all use your own discretion. Today we're gonna do a Salisbury steak using. Let me get you using hamburger. I've never done this either. So anyway, and I'm late. It's going on one o'clock. I should have started that this morning. I don't know. I'm tired. I got up around four, and I just feel sluggish today. And uh. And I kept thinking, oh, we're having Salisbury steak this afternoon. And then when we were sitting in there, Mr. came in, and I was working on a video. And then it just dawned on me. I went, that's a crock pot thing. I should have been cooking that all day. I like to cook it on low. So what I'm going to have to do now, which you can cook it on low all day. or like four hours, it says that you can cook it in a crock pot and on high. So I'm trying to get my rear end in gear to get it on. So we'll have something to eat this afternoon. I'm telling you. I'm just telling you. So anyway, like I said, it's new. I'm having to go by. I wrote everything down. It's the first time doing it, so it's me and you at this. We'll see what we can do. First off, we got to make the mi mixture up, and it takes one and a half. A I already kind of, well, I, I measured out some of it, but um, it's one and a half cups of, a, of beef broth. Now, we're just going to do the mixture that's going to go over the hamburger. So, anyway, so I'm going to put that in a bowl. Y'all probably can't see that, can you? Probably not. Let me see if I can. Anyway, it's on this pink bowl right here. So, anyway, it's one and a half cup of um, of beef beef broth. It's one package of um, brown gravy mix. We're gonna put that in there, okay? And then it's uh, two tablespoons of ketchup. It didn't say what kind. Some people are real picky about it, but you know, uh oh. This is a new one, hadn't been opened up yet. Uh, yep, I thought I opened up everything. Well, anyway, you know, this is fresh ketchup. So, I'm gonna do it like this because I'm in time's sake. So, I got one and a two. Okay. And then the next thing it calls for is one teaspoon. Y'all know the difference, don't you? It's this one. Anyway, one teaspoon of Dijon mustard. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, let me stick that in here. Does that look appetizing, y'all? Appetizing. Did I say that right? <clears throat> And then you can use, uh, I di I'm not, and uh, you can use some parsley flakes to go in that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, mix this up. There's not really much in here. We're only making like four patties. But I'm just in a hurry because I need the whisk. 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 
Anyway, you want to mix that up really good. You know, get that brown gravy mix. You know, sometimes it gets kind of chunky. Mm -hmm. Kind of like flour when you put flour in a pan sometimes. You got them chunks. You go, goodness. You need a sifter, I reckon. Okay, now I'm going to put that to the side. I already took off my ring because you, know, you got to put your hands in this hamburger stuff. So now with a hamburger, I'm going to get some minced. Where'd it go? Get some minced garlic. And they didn't say how much <clears throat> to put in there, but I like garlic. So I'm going to go ahead and put me a doggone tablespoon of there. Now you know y'all won't want to be around this for a while. It'll smell real good. And then you get some chopped. Oh, let me show y'all. And then you get some minced onions. I bet I didn't open that either, did I? Yeah, I did. It didn't say anything about how much of that either. So I'm just going to do this because I like onion too. I guess you just put whatever much you want to put in there. Okay. And then you put one third, which I've already measured out, of uh, breadcrumbs. Stick that in there. And then you take... Uh, one egg yolk, which I don't have the bowl for that. Let me get a bowl. Okay, so we got one egg yolk. Stick that in there. Now here comes the fun part. Just put your hands all down there. Y'all want to help me? Okay, we're going to get all this. We get all this mixed up in this. Oh, you know what else I forgot? I forgot two tablespoons of milk. I'm just gonna go get the milk. My hands are dirty. We're just gonna pour a little bit in there. I think that's it. So, that's my hands all yucky. I'm just gonna pour a little bit in here. And it calls for two tablespoons. So we go one, two. All right. So we got that. We start still mushing it all together. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to go over there, which I need to turn the burner on, get all this uh, all together, all mixed together. Then what you're going to do is you're going to brown your hamburger. You're not going to get it done, but you're just going to brown it on each side. I'm trying to get the stuff that's going to the bottom. So I'm going to take you on over here. Let's see if I can take you over here without getting all this hamburger stuff on you. Anyway, so we're going to go right over here. There's the pan. And we're going to go ahead and turn this on. And with this ham, I'm not sure how many, how, it says four, so I may make a good heap of four. Whoop. Like I said, I've never tried this. Some might be bigger than the other ones. That's okay. I'll give that to Mister. Hope I turned the right one on. I'm notorious for turning on the wrong burner. I don't know why that is, but that's why I keep water in the tea kettle back there because when I start hearing that whistling, then I know I got the wrong burner on. Okay, there's two. Oops, something on. It's on here. Remember, we're only going to do this and let it brown. Y'all wanted that, didn't you? Now 
Now, like I said, I should have put it on this morning. I didn't think about it. it went right over my head because this is a crock pot thing. And like I said, I don't know about you guys, but I like to, um, and I got just a little bit more in there. I might have to make an itty bitty one. Um, y'all, uh, I like my cooking all day is what I'm trying to get to. And remember, we're not cooking these all the way through. have four in the itty bitty. When that browns, I have to put this one in there. But I can add it later. Just the itty bitty one. gonna leave that one right there. I gotta go wash my hands and I'll be back. Okay guys I washed my hands. Meanwhile this was cooking. I just turned them over. So as you can see we just want it to be brown on both sides. I'm not cooking it through. So when this is done I'll be back and we'll put it in the crock pot. All right guys I got it on low now. I'm gonna be going and get it in a few minutes but I wanted to show you something now. We've got the crock pot and I'm going to put it on high like I told you. I don't know if you can see this or not. But in the bottom of this, we're going to take some onions, which I cut up. And you're just going to place them on the bottom because you're going to be putting the hamburger on top of it. Just regular old onions. Let's get this other one. Hold on. I'm an onion girl, so I'm going to put quite a bit. And I'm going to go ahead and start putting this thing on high. And let's see what to select. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and turn it up. Let's see, it's a little after 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let's put it on like 6.30. I pray to the Lord it's going to be, I put it on 7. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Like I said, I've never done this. All right, let me go get the... Um, the hamburger and I'll be right back. Okay, here we go guys. I'm here it's still kind of cooking. And like I said, it's just enough to where can y'all see that it's brown on the top and the bottom. And I'm just gonna place this over these onions in here. This is the first time doing this, so we shall see. I'm hope praying that they don't fall apart. Those breadcrumbs and stuff that should, you know, keep it together, but who knows? I'm afraid to move them around in here, too, because it might fall apart. I'm going to be cooking that little one now. So, but we're getting ready to pour that mixture over. All right, can y'all see that? Nope. Okay, the onions on the bottom, hamburger, uh, on both sides brown so now remember the mixture that we mixed up together anyway that's this so we're just going to pour that over this there we go that's it Stick the lid on, it's cooking on high, and I've got it for, um, what'd I say? Well, it's supposed to be for five hours on high. I think I got a little bit more than that, but that's okay. I'll be coming in and checking it. I'm just praying that that hammer gets done in the middle. Like I said, it's the first time I tried it. That one I had on yesterday, I told you, not for me. You might like it, mister, really liked it, but I told him he'll have to fix it. Of course, you know, Martha Stewart, he's got all, you know, well, I put so-and-so, so I said, I put peas. And, and he says, well, put some onion, and then, and then, I said, I'll just put peas. So, anyway, we'll see about this one, whether I'm not, I'm going to like it or not. So, I don't know. I might like it. I love hamburger. 
So we'll see. So I'll let that be cooking and we'll come back later when it's about dinner time. I'm not sure what we're gonna have with this. Last night with that chicken casserole thing, we just had some potatoes. It was really filling. I think it was a little bit too much with that chickeny stuff and and uh, and then with potatoes too. I think today uh, with this it's going to be uh, maybe some carrots and I don't know what else, but at least I know some carrots. Maybe some green beans or some rice. Rice would be good. Let's do rice and carrots. So that's what we're going to fix when it's about time for time for the, us to eat this. Okay, well let me get off of here. I gotta clean up this mess. And you know how I am about putting it in the dishwasher. I gotta put everything just, y'all need to watch that one. I'll see if I can link that too um, with the OCD with the dishwasher.